Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Looney and today I thought I'd um, have a bit of fun. Um, I've picked out five of my favourite castings um, from my collection, one from each maker. So we got one from uh, Johnny Lightning, one from Auto World, one from Racing Champions Mint, uh, one from Greenlight and one from M2. And uh, uh, I think two of them I've shown before in previous videos but the other three I haven't. Um, but I was just bored and I thought, I'm going to show which pieces I just really, really like. You know, out of all my pieces and large scale and whatnot, uh, mainline cars, I like them all. But there's always usually some pieces that stand out more than others. So anyway, the first one we're going to take a look at is uh, this 1963 Ford Econoline van from M2. Um... I can't remember the series it's from, if I'm personally honest. But um, again, like I said, when this when I got this a while ago, I just thought it was outstanding um, with its lowered stance. It's just a really, really cool casting. There's just something about it I really like. Um, so it's got a strange interior. It's got like um, they almost look like sort of secretary seats, the sort of thing you'd use if you sat at a computer, they're quite weird. Now whether them chairs would swivel, I don't know, or if they're standard to the original van, but obviously this is a custom van. Well, it's based on a, a van that's been customed, customised, sorry. But uh, yeah, it's just a really cool, like the paint scheme on it. Um, it's just yeah, it's just just really cool. It's got the windows, it's got the quarter lights, and it looks like the windows are being wound down. But uh, yeah, it's just a really cool piece. But, so, so that's the first one I thought I'd show. But like I said, I have shown this one before. Um, the rear lights on this, I don't think they're. I can't tell if I painted them. Ones, ones are, you know, they are painted. These ones. Sometimes they're, they're plastic inserted lights on these. But anyway, that's the first one. And the second one is this uh, 1969 Boss 429. Um, it's actually John Wick car. It's from the film John Wick um, by Greenlight. And again, when I got this, I just thought it was really cool. I'm a big fan of the uh, later Mustangs, but uh, and I like the John Wick film. So you get some plate detail in there. Look, there you go. I want my finger focus in almost. But yeah, really cool. Got painted rear lights, painted front lights. You can see the Mustang emblem there. I've done a really nice job on it. There's no flaws on this one, which is a good, which is good for green light because obviously they usually have flaws of some description. It's got a nice detailed engine. And I like the way the actual bonnet actually has the actual bonnet vent is actually a proper, actually a vent. But uh, so that's that's number two. Now this one I really like, this is um, from Racing Champions Mint, and this is one of the ones I've shown before in a previous video. Um, and this is actually the chase piece. Usually, um, this is because it's a 19, it's 1975 Chevy van. Um, and like I said, usually these are like a darker brown, the standard ones are darker brown, and the wheels I remember rightly, I think just around the outside trim is, is silver. Um, but because this is the chase piece van, um, they have a, has more of a gold colour to the paint rather than a dark brown. Um, and the base is all like a gold colour. And um, so, yeah, so the paint's slightly different. It's a lighter colour. It's got, like I said, it has, it's supposed to have gold fleck in it. Again, this is nicely done. It's got all painted front lights. You've got the bow tie there's painted. 
they've put some black wash on the grill which is pretty cool and obviously the bumpers are separate casting separate piece it's plastic the back doors do open um let's see if i can open in a second oh yep got it and you've got the interior is not as big as obviously it's a van so not much to look at but um yeah it's just i've got a couple of these vans from champions mint they're just really really nicely done um they're part of the round two group if i remember rightly so it's more modern um now they only made 2000 of these in the standard version so i'm not quite sure how many of these they've made but they i can't i don't think there's many um because being 2000 pieces of the standard version is not a lot but so there obviously isn't going to be many of these it's the first one and the only one i've seen but uh yeah, that's really cool. In actual fact, I think I'll put it over there, making that it's getting, getting some petrol in the background. And then obviously this is from Auto World. This is a 1976 uh, Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Popular casting. They do it in various colours. They do a black one. They do a, a blue one. They do many different colours in it. Um, but I got it in this sort of combination of white and with a red back to the roof um, but again it's just a really cool casting nice and weighty being it's auto world it's done really nice let's see if I can get some of the you can see the um, emblem now on the back of the red part of the lower part of the roof you can see the red pinstripe down it but I do really like these old uh, 70s land yachts. Not the quickest car in the world, but just made for luxury and style, really. I know the bonnet on this doesn't really open very, very far on these. I don't think any of them really do. But there is a very detailed engine if you can see it, but you can't quite see it. But yes, I've taken my word for it, but it is. I'm going to turn to light a bit. But you can see all the all the radiator pipes are there, and yeah, it's really cool. But like I said, you, you can't see it very well because the bonnet doesn't really open that far. But uh, yeah, so that's another cool one. And the last one is this, I think it's 1967 Plymouth GTX convertible from Johnny Lightning. And this is another one I just really like for some reason. I like the GTXs. Um, it's nice to see something that's not a Roadrunner because everybody's into the Roadrunners. Got the painted lights there. You can see it says Plymouth. Interior is pretty well done. Such a small car. It's even got texture on the um, on the convertible roof there, and you can see, even see the buttons holding it down. obviously that piece would come off and the roof is underneath it and again you've got the Plymouth emblem on the front there you can see it says Plymouth painted lights there's my dog barking in the background and again detailed engine but yeah very cool so anyway like I said I was just bored thought I'd do something different show off some of my favorite pieces and uh, stay tuned because I've got some 1 in 24 scale coming up soon by Motormax. Um, something I've just bought my son, bought him some new cars. Um, so I'll be showing them off and I've got some more mainline stuff coming. Anyway, thanks very much. See you again.